probably wondering, how long does my case take? Hey, my name is Attorney Edward Reyes and I'm with the Reyes Firm. Your case depends. Depends on your injuries. It depends on a lot of factors. I'll give you an example. If you have big injuries and there's a low policy, many times the insurance company would want to tender, meaning pay right away, because they know they're putting their insured, their client, at risk. This doesn't mean it's a good position for you because depending on the circumstance, that may be all that you may get. Now, there's other things that can happen within that, but it gets a little bit more complicated and it varies case by case. The insurance company, in good effort, in good faith, has to do everything that comply with our demands. That is the first thing. Two, you have big injuries or bad injuries, big policy. Yes, that sounds like a great idea in, in, in a perfect storm. However, sometimes when the policy is really big, the insurance company will fight it because they have enough money to fight it. With that being said, if you have bad injuries in a big policy, the chances of recovery are much greater. Case scenario number three, you have little injuries, big policy. Refer back to number two. Little injuries, big policy is the insurance company has a lot of money to fight it and they will fight it because they have a lot of money to play with because the policy is bigger and your injuries are smaller. So it'll take much longer to settle your case. Case option number four, you have big injuries, decent policy, I would say 25 to 50 policy or even up to $100,000. Now we're getting into the more realistic, perfect storm kind of scenario. When this happens, you have bad injuries and there's coverage and the coverage are valued out what the injuries could be. Now the assurance offers back and forth are much more reasonable. Again, at the end of the day, the insurance company has adjusters that work for them. Their job is to adjust claims down. Their job is not to pay you and to try to reduce whatever the offset is for their insurance company. That's what they're paid to do. So never take it personally. They don't know you. They only know you what's on paper. So if you feel that the adjusters are not treating you fairly, that's whenever we have to put more pressure we have to use certain techniques to have them raise the offer and we may have to file suit. By filing suit, it comes out of the hands of that adjuster and goes to the hands of another person, which is the litigation adjuster and an attorney. If you have any questions on this, feel free to drop a question below or if this was helpful for you, please put helpful. Thanks for watching.